Welcome to ESAM Please, where music theory is simplified. We'll be looking at composing simple four bar rhythms. And this topic spans from grade one up to grade three. What is rhythm? Rhythm refers to the arrangement of notes and rest in time. Here are some examples of four bar rhythms. This is in two four time and you can see four bars. You see the way the rhythms are arranged. This is in 4-4 four, four time. You see the way the notes are arranged. So we'll be looking at how you can compose a simple 4 bar rhythm. Note how the first four bar rhythm ends with a long note. Also note how the second four bar rhythm ends with a long note. Take note, please. There are many ways to compose an interesting four bar rhythm. Your rhythm must be interesting, not dull. We will only consider two methods in this video. To aid your understanding, these assumptions apply. Bar 1 is A, bar 2, B, bar 3, C, bar 4, D. You will see how this applies to your composing an interesting 4 bar rhythm. Let's proceed. Note that in the exam, the first bar or first two bars will be given. You only need to continue the rhythm up to four bars. What I mean is, in the exam, if you find a question on composing four bar rhythm and you are given the first bar, that means you need to compose the balanced three bars to make it four bars and if you are given the first two bars then you will have to compose bar three and bar four to make it four bars the two methods are represented with these formulas method one a equals to c but B is not equals to D. Then we have method two. A is not equals to C, but B is equals to D. Remember our assumptions. A means bar one. C means bar three. B means bar 2, D means bar 4. So in method 1, when you say A is equals to C, it means the rhythm in bar 1 will be exactly the rhythm in bar 3, which is C. But the rhythm in bar 2 and bar 4 
will not be the same. Then in method 2, A will not be equals to C, but B will be exactly the content of D. Let's apply these two method, uh, methods as we take some examples. This is question one. Continue these two bar rhythm to make four bars in all. Here you are given two bars. You only need to compose two more bars to make it four bars. Let's do this together. The first thing you do, create bar three and create bar four. Next, remember our assumptions. Bar one is A, bar two is B, bar three is C, bar four is D. Let's see how these work. We are labeling now. That's bar one, A. Bar two is B. Bar three is C. Bar four is D. Let's apply method one. Method one says a is equals to C, but B is not equals to D. So the first thing you do is copy the content of A into C because A is equals to C. Now we have copied A into C. B is not equals to D. That means you need to create a rhythm, that is put some notes together, maybe notes or rest or just notes to form D. Always end your rhythm with a long note. Remember the two examples earlier on? Always endeavor to end your rhythm with a long note. So for bar four, which is D, try a long note to end the rhythm. And the best long note here is a minimum. Let's take question two. Continue these two bar rhythm to make four bars in all. Here is a three, four time. You are given bar one and you are given bar two. So you create bar three, then create bar four. Our assumptions. A, B, C, then D. Which formula are we are applying here? Let's try method two, which is A is not equals to C, but B is equals to D. So what you do first is copy the content of B into D. Now you have to create C because A is not equals to C. Remember your time signature. Balance your bar correctly. Here we are looking at three crochet beats per bar. So let's do this. That's the first crochet beat, the second crochet beat, and the third crochet beat. Question three. Continue this one bar rhythm to make four bars in all. Here you're only given bar one. Looking at this question, the first incomplete bar is not bar one. So you are only given bar one, that means you need to create bars two, three, and four. That's bar two, bar three, and bar four. Our assumptions.
let's use method one where a is equals to c b is not equals to d copy the content of a into c create a reading for b this is a four four time that's the first bit that's the second bit that's the third and fourth bit that bar is balanced remember b is not equals to d so you need to create a rhythm for bar four remember always end your rhythm with a long note in this case the music is anacrosis that is it started with an incomplete bar you need to balance that incomplete bar at bar four we have a crotchet in the incomplete bar that's a bit so that means bar four is going to have the balance three bits and trying to end your rhythm with a long note a dotted meaning should do for bar four which is d question four continue these one bar rhythm to make four bars in all here is another anacrosis question where the rhythm starts with an incomplete bar now you create bar two create bar three create bar four our assumptions Let's use method one. A is equals to C, but B is not equals to D. Copy the content of A into C. Create a rhythm for bar two, for B. This is a three, four time. That bar is balanced. Remember, B is not equals to D. Always end your rhythm with a long note. Balancing the incomplete bar at the beginning at bar 4. At the beginning, we have just a crochet beat. So we are left with two crochet beats to balance the time signature. So the appropriate long note can only be a minimum. Things to note, always endeavor to end your reading with a long note. Balance every bar correctly. Group or beam your notes correctly according to the time signature let your reading be interesting not dull for example this reading is very dull it is not interesting at all very very dull too dull endeavor to create interesting four bar rhythm using the two methods shown in this video thank you for watching for more interesting videos Subscribe to eSamplis YouTube channel.